Let's get right into it this afternoon. You know, education has been one of the biggest issues this past year here in North Carolina. And this school year was difficult for most in more ways than one. But today, Guilford County Schools shared some good news for parents and teachers alike. WFMI News 2's Jalen Gilkey has more. Well, the last year and a half have been an adventure for students, parents, and faculty across our area. The adjustment to virtual learning, the uncertainty of if and when students will return to the classroom, along with many other factors, have caused students' grace to suffer. However, today, Guilford County Schools announced their plan to provide summer learning opportunities for all students. So, after two disrupted years of learning due to COVID-19, we decided we had to offer a wide range of summer programming and we had to do a lot more to encourage parents and students uh, to enroll. According to GCS Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras, families have been extremely welcoming to these summer learning opportunities and their enrollment numbers show it. Last year, we did not have summer school, but the year prior, the enrollment was about 1,200. Right now, we're at 8,016 students enrolled. Dr. Contreras went on to speak about what is known as the fifth quarter, which means students have the opportunity to make up any failing grade they earned this past year and replace it with a passing grade if they complete the summer course. GCS will also be mailing brochures of courses provided this summer to your home. I've attached a link to that brochure in the web story on WFMYNews2.com. Wow, more than 8,000 students enrolled and what an opportunity, especially I know some students just don't take to remote learning as well as others right. do and it's been such a weird time. So I'm glad that they have this opportunity, Jalen. Anything you could do in the summer that, you know, they, they call it brain drain right? and it's so true that kids go through that and getting back into it again in August is tough. So this helps. One thing that's also awesome about this, it's not just remedial classes that they're offering, but also some enrichment programs. They have robotics, they have uh, coding, arts institute programs, all kinds of things. So uh, that's pretty cool out there too. So I know the superintendent really wants parents to take advantage of these opportunities. Now, and an opportunity for Guilford County Schools teachers perhaps to, to get in some extra hours over the summer too. They're going to need them with enrollment so high. Uh, this is the type of thing where uh, it's it really, it's not just a, a luxury, it's actually needed, I think, in a lot of ways. So it's a good program. And it's also a good way just for kids to interact and get social again from being at home uh, mm -hmm. for so long. So look at it that way too. Yeah, absolutely right, Lauren. That was what I was going to say. This is a, another way for students for after a weird year and a half, it's a good time for them to be able to get back accustomed to going to school and just being in the school environment. 